you're a down heart city person. Down heart, down heart, what? for a long time then you remember if you've seen any of the type of videos then you remember that I was not born here in Georgia I was born in New York I have been in New York since I was 10 I was born in Brooklyn New York if you've ever been to Brooklyn then you know what it looks like you know the life there and all that jazz and you know as a kid you know you always like where you grow up you know you, you pretend to like the state you grow up in because you're a child you don't really have a choice that's what you're surrounded by, that's what you learn to love. You know, I learned to love New York. I learned to love the city life at the time because that's all I was surrounded by. That's what I was exposed to. You know, you know, very little nature, very little um country. What's the word? I don't know, but you all know you know how the inner city life is. It's not very um alluring. They make it look alluring on TV, you know, to live in the inner city, you gotta have all this money. You gotta have a lot of money to live, like, in a real big bustling city. Like, if you're from New York, if you wanna live in Manhattan, you'll be paying, you'll be seriously paying. If you try to get an apartment in Manhattan, good luck to you. You might be paying, like, two grand or something for a one bedroom. Uh-uh. But, again, that's the life I was surrounded by. But, of course, I was in the poor areas. Brooklyn is one of the poor areas. And even deeper in Brooklyn, I lived in Bed-Stuy. If you know about Bed-Stuy, you know. <laughs> Write me a comment below if you know about Bed-Stuy. Bedford Stuyvesant. If you know about that, let me know in the comment box. Where I'm from, that's where I used to live. Um, from ages, I guess, you were born up until uh, age 10. That's where I grew up. You know, we didn't have all the money in the world, but you know, my parents did the best they could. But the main thing I liked about the city as a child was, of course, the scenery. You know, the big buildings, the ocean, the bridges. I loved bridges. I still love bridges. Bridges are just beautifully and just awesome. They're just beautiful. They're awesome. Um, I just learned to love that stuff. You know, the, the pretty buildings when the lights are out. And you see all the lights and all the buildings and all that glamour and, you know, the lights. Like I said, the lights. <laughs> the child, that stuff is glamorous to you, of course. You know, that's it. So you see and, you know, the ocean and the beach, all of that is wonderful as a child. Now, when I left New York at age 10, um... Of course, I adapted to living life in Georgia, you know, I became a lot more um, country, if you like to say, I'm not sure about my accent or anything, but I adapted to country life, even though we still didn't have all the money in the world, but you know, I still adapted to, okay, how life is like in Georgia versus New York. Now, as a child, I was always one of those who liked... I've always liked the country life. As a child, I was drawn to books that represented country life. If that makes any sense. Let me give you an example. Do you all remember the Boxcar Children? There's a series of, ch of children's books called the Boxcar Children. And I think it was about like, I forgot, was it like children being homeless or something? It was like some siblings who were homeless and they were like living in a boxcar on a train. And that's how they were surviving, whatever. Stuff like that always interests me. Also, books about camping. I would never had a book about camping, whether it be like a, a child going away to summer camp, or somebody camping in the woods with their family, or like living in a cabin in the woods. All of that stuff has always excited me. As a child, I love reading that stuff because I didn't know anything about it. I consider myself an environmentalist from the get-go. Like, I was always into nature. 
I was always like wishing I would be more green, you know what I mean? Wishing I could be more, um, I can't find a word, but you know what I mean. I, I wanted to be around more plants and stuff. I wanted to, but um, I couldn't at the time. So like I said, I moved to Georgia. I was happier. I think I was happier um, being around a little bit more of the country. You know what I mean? Now, you know, we couldn't do, do camping and all other stuff. But either way, I, I've always liked that stuff. I've always had an affinity for country life. I, I don't feel that I would survive in the city very well. <laughs> now, fast forward to me as an adult. I'm still like that. I've even found more of a connection with nature now than I did when I was a kid, or I got it back. I can't say I ever fully lost it, but I got it, I got it back. I think I kind of lost it, like, you know, going through my, um, sexual abuse and all that, like, damaged me. It ruined who I truly was at the time. For five years, it, like, ruined, it rewired my mind and made me think that, no, you're not a country person. You need to go in the city because... Um, you're going to go to school, and you're going to get a job, and you're going to get a career, and you're going to end up living the city, the hustle bustle city life that everyone else does. And I said, fuck no. When I woke up and realized that one day, and, and I saw what my mom was going through as far as like trying to hustle and get money, and try to live like the Joneses, I said, no, I'm not like that. I'm not the type of person who's going to try to keep up with the Joneses, just for the hell of it. So when I realized that, it was like, oh wow, okay, well, no, I'm not a city girl. Just because I was born in the city doesn't mean that I'm bound to be a city girl. It doesn't mean that I want to be. It doesn't mean that I that I prefer being in in a you know a nice luxury apartment in a city or in like a big high rise building. Fuck no. I don't want to live in a high rise building. They're beautiful to look at, but I don't want to live in that. Man, it's just dangerous. What if something happened? Do what if the building was on fire? What if some nine eleven shit happened? Uh uh. Nope. No. Oh, no. No. Like no. That. No. Oh. I don't desire that type of city life. I never did. I look back at how I was as a child and I'm going right back to those same habits now because I'm finding myself versus all that middle time my dad was messing with me, like I said, rewiring my brain to try to live like how my mother was trying to live and that got her nowhere, honestly. Financially, it got her nowhere. It got her in severe debt and losing everything. And like I said, I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not following that same path. To me, the country life is better. It's way less expensive. You're more self-sufficient and you're happier because you're around nature. You're around plants and you're more conscious of what you're doing to the earth. You're more conscious of how you are contributing to the earth, if you know what I mean. Most city people, if you're a down heart city person, down heart, down heart, what? If you're a die-hard city person, you are not conscious about saving the earth. You might think you are. Like, you might be recycling. You might be recycling because most cities, they have recycling set up. Like, big cities like New York, yeah, I remember recycling. They have recycling bins, bins sitting out. And I was happy because as a child, I really thought I was contributing to society. But in reality, just doing that alone, no, that's just a necessity. That doesn't mean that you're contributing to society. Not, not really. It's a necessity. The city requires that. So you just do it because the city requires it. It's sitting there. The bin is going to be sitting there next to your trash can. Now, I don't know what they're doing now. This is how it was when I was a child. But when you get older and you realize that you can do some of those things yourself, it's just a whole different feeling. And like I said, for me, I'm going back to how I felt as a child when we... When I went to school and I took trips, we took field trips to the book, the, um, 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 the botanical garden. What was it called? The Brooklyn Botanical Garden. I think that's what it's called. That was my favorite place to take a field trip to. I remember taking field trips there as a child and I loved, loved, loved the fuck out of that place. I don't know what, you know what, I think they're still open today. I don't know. I haven't been in so long, but it was gorgeous. I love that place. It made me feel like I was in a rainforest. <laughs> And I remember, um, like I said, as a child, that was me. That was truly in me to be drawn to that. You know what I mean? I am happy to be at this place I am right now. I am 
truly a country girl and it's not just because I moved to Georgia. I was always that way. It's just like I said, I'm refining myself. I am not interested in living in the city. I'm not interested in the hustle bustle. I'm not interested in the crowds. I'm not interested in finding a career to where, like I said, I can live in this big old pretty lofty luxury apartment and pay two, three, two, three grand for it. I'm not up late for that, otherwise I wouldn't have had kids. <laughs> I am a country girl at heart. Which is why I chose the man that I chose, which is why I had so many kids, which is why I'm talking about nature and this is why this and why that. That's just me. I am totally wanting to be more in the country. I'm not saying I want to be like extremely in the boonies to where I can't hardly really reach nothing and if something happens I'm like, oh shit, somebody help me, I can't reach. That's not what I'm talking about. I just want to be a lot more self-sufficient, you know? I'm already a DIY person. I like doing shit myself. So, like I said, the city life is not for me. I don't see myself going back to New York to live. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I really don't see myself going back to live in New York. It just ain't gonna happen. Never. <laughs> My husband's not interested either, and hey. I'm all for it, because I, I don't want to go to no inner city like that. I'm trying to get out of hell. Atlanta, Atlanta, I fucking hate Atlanta. We're trying to get out of Atlanta right now. <laughs> we might stay in the state, like we might stay in Georgia, but Atlanta itself? Mm-mm. There ain't nothing but toxic people here. Atlanta is a party city to make it worse. It's not just any city, but it's a party city. You don't know everybody and their mom that's coming down here to party or to get their career straight. All the aspiring rappers and aspiring singers and aspiring dancers, everybody who's trying to be a movie star, trying to come down and meet Tyler Perry and all this other stuff. I'm just, mm -mm. Atlanta is just through. Atlanta is full of like, people like that, like I mentioned, which is cool. That's, that's what you want to do and go ahead, but it's not for me. It's a lot of toxic people down here. They are, you know, city people and city people don't care about anything for themselves, they don't care about the environment, they litter, they're rude as fuck, they'll run you off the road, they just don't care. I'm done. So yeah, I think that was all I had to say. I just wanted to express that because, hey, I just felt like talking about it. I'm a country girl at heart, y'all. I am a country ass girl at heart. I'm just very country minded, so I'm better off in the country. Right now, man, our plans. <laughs> Gaining land, planting food, doing all that good stuff, all the DIY stuff, you know? The stuff black people don't do, like pottery. That's the shit I want to do. I think I've rambled enough. I hope I was pretty entertaining. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you think about it. I hope you can kind of come, you know, kind of think about where you are in your spiritual journey and what you want and what you prefer and all of that and I wish you guys luck on your endeavors as far as finding yourself and finding out where you want to live and how you want to live and why you want to live that way I believe the country life opens you up spiritually it opens you up to so many things because again you're communing with the earth you're, you're working with earth instead of against earth and cities mm. Man, cities are just a bunch of capitalism. They're not working with Earth. They're working against Earth. And I'm not with that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you subscribe. I've got plenty more coming. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Hello to you. I hope you're all having a great day, week, month, year, hour, century, all the other good stuff. And thank you for watching. Peace out.